Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Got some quick tips for you today with automation. And I just put out a long video on working with automation modes in Reaper. And there were a few tips in there that I just want to repeat in this video uh, and also bring in a couple new ones that you probably haven't seen before. So the first one's really simple. Double click on a envelope panel below a track and it will select all the points in that track. So I'm double clicking here and then these points and this point here are all selected. From there, we can really easily cut or copy that automation and move it somewhere else. Something I mentioned but didn't demonstrate was global automation overrides. So you can have all of your tracks set individually to different automation modes, but if you wanna set them all at once to one specific mode, you can do it from the transport bar and just look where it says none. That's your global automation override. So click on that and choose an automation mode. I know all your tracks are set to that mode. And when you're done automating, set it back to read or trim read or none. When you're in read mode, that automation trim knob is disabled. If you wanna use that, just click that green button on the left, the automation arm button, now that trim knob is available again, you can make your changes, then click that button to re-enable reading the automation and you're in read mode again. I've got this EQ on the guitar and it's just an example of what something you can do. Let's solo this. Now I've only done this on one track and if I copy that EQ, it may not keep that automation. I don't wanna draw in that automation a second time, but here's what we do. We right click on this plugin in the effects chain and there's this option that was fairly recently added, copy effects including automation. So I click on that, I open up the effects chain for the second track and I just paste. And now on track two, I've got EQ with the same automation. Now we can hear it in stereo. Great. In a big project with a lot of plugin automation and track volume automation, panning and sends, all these things can get pretty messy. This is just a pretty small project, but because I was in latch preview mode and I was touching some of the faders, I've got all this automation on most of the tracks already. Just to clean up my workspace, I like to have a button on my main toolbar to show and hide all track automation. So I just click that and all the active envelopes are hidden, but they're still active. So they're still going to read even though we're not seeing them. We can also get to that action through the global override window, show all track envelopes. And that toolbar button is just toggle show all active envelopes for all tracks. Here's a trick for automating effects parameters. If you just touch a parameter and then run the action to show and hide the track envelope, you can save yourself a lot of time. You don't have to go through this list here and find the parameters you want. Just click on the parameter, maybe move it a little bit, click back to the range view, run that action, and it comes back right there. That action is effects show slash hide track envelope for last touched effects parameter. This is something I use a lot. I find it really helpful. This next tip is a quick way of getting the parameter modulation available on the track envelope panel. I have the envelope lane shown for the frequency band number three. I can easily add parameter modulation to this by clicking this button right here and I'll zoom in real close so you can see that. You don't really see it until you hover over it, but it's right there and we can click on LFO. And now you can see band three is moving all on its own with the LFO. And that will do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed these tips and tricks for automation. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.